Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101. So today we're going to be looking at a new update of Cascada. This is an amazing software for animators and even when you are not an animator, it's going to be an update you want to take a look at because it changes how we do animation even for Blender artists. Let me show you what I mean. So they have done a lot of improvements to the way their animation system works and as you know Cascada is just an AI based physics based animation system that allows you to animate your character based on actual physics. You can see here you just pause one area and uh, the, the software tries to predict where the other parts should be and adjust the entire character accordingly. But uh, let me show you some of the main features that you should really care about if you do any form of animation. The main features that I really loved is the AI pausing and uh, the, where is it, unbake keyframes, uh, which you might find very useful if you use imported models that have been animated using motion capture. Uh, like animations from Mixamo. So this is a character that I got off of Mixamo and uh, you can see the and you can see how the keyframes are back to back and don't really give you room to edit them. For example, if I want to turn this head this way, that pause will be registered, but because the keyframes are back to back, on the next frame that animation will snap back immediately. Uh, this can make editing these imported animations really difficult. And if you're importing animation is most likely going to be back to back animation like this or back back to back keyframes like this so cascada has a great solution for that so let's jump into cascada and i'm going to talk about the pricing really quickly they have a new type of pricing which i think is really really amazing it's subscription based but not the kind of subscription we hate from adobe and other softwares you just have to subscribe for a year and then that license turns into a perpetual license after that year let's look at the keyframe baking feature so i'm going to import the, the fbx file i uh, just go on fbx and then import uh it's this sword and slash and and shield animation and uh, it prompts you with this rig mode hope up because it recognizes that you have imported in a rig that has animation but it doesn't have ik controls or any way you can change the animation easily so it prompts you with this rig mode to update the rig you're using to one that is compatible with with cascada and its other tools click yes to update the rig it enters into this rig quick rigging tool you can change different things but uh, i found that just going and clicking yes okay and uh, add rig elements is enough to get what i want and i just click generate rig and uh, it will go in and start setting up the rig trying to mimic what you already have giving you IK controls so that you can start using their system that uses AI and physics to animate things. You can play back the animation using X and uh, to look at that and I uh, just look at that it has imported perfectly. The only issue we are having is that our keyframes are still back to back so we can't really make any changes uh, to this. So for example if I go to this frame, frame one and uh, maybe uh, let's go to frame five and move the character just like that and that's another thing that i like i love about this software is that when you you make any changes the body adjusts to fit the pose to make it look realistic so i just move this leg and uh, it's using ik controls and is physics engine to adjust the pose so that the character looks realistic has a more realistic pose so yeah, but again, we still have the problem of keyframes being back to back. So if I go back to frame one, frame four, you see that we get that snap that we had before because these keyframes are too close to each other. So I'll undo these steps so that we can unbake these keyframes and add some space that we can add that we can work with in the timeline or in our keyframes. So all you have to do is just select the range of frames you want to unbake and select. I'm just holding down Control Shift and then uh, selecting to have all the 73 keyframes and after you select those you can just go up here there is an unbake an animation unbake button and I, I can click on that and the system or cascada will start unbaking the keyframes trying to find the best key poses and only selecting the leaving those in the animation like we have here so it has removed it has removed about 80 percent of the keyframes we had and now we have some room to add any extra animation we have and you you barely see any difference between what we have and what was there before because cascada just uses ai to select the best key poses for what we have this is what ai should be doing instead of replacing our jobs it can assist us make our work much easier so yeah you can see now we have spaces between our animation that we can add anything 
anything to and if i wanted to adjust key key poses uh, that it left in here that is also very easy i can say i will just have this leg up here and now we can see that that pose is there if i wanted to do that before uh, let's say what frame was that frame four let's say we raise her leg and we don't even have inverse ik so animating is really really difficult you can see now we still have that snap so yeah and you can't just delete keyframes and hope for the best are they working so let's try removing keyframes for for all the bonds yeah you see that it's kind of slow it's like it gives you this slow motion feeling basically not the way to do it you're going to lose a lot of information just look at what's happening there so yeah that's what that's what ha would happen if you just randomly remove keyframes but cascada just is basically a big improvement now you can really appreciate what it's doing after seeing what happens when you try to remove the keyframes yourself another thing it does really well is adding keyframes for you so this is our last pause i'm just going to add a new keyframe you just go to the keyframe you want to add and just hit f and it will add that and now i can start animating this maybe let me just so we can see that that keyframe has been recorded successfully but we seem to have a snap because of the type of interpolation we are using so i'm just going to select that and go in here and change it from a step to something like auto or bezier so that is uh, a more smooth yeah transition like that and uh yeah, let's turn on physics to make this look nice so to turn on physics you just select the auto physics option here and uh, that should uh, give you another character to show you to preview your physics the physics you have done and so i just need to add the last keyframe there and i right, let me turn on keyframe recording and uh yeah, Cascada will just try to balance her. You, you need to do some editing to this, but uh, let's say that's what we have. And just hit play. Let's... You can see how it has added that jump. Yeah, Cascada is very good at stuff like that. And uh, I think I need to change the interpolation as well here. So to something like auto and... Yeah, you can see now how she's moving at the legs, uh, which is simply, simply amazing. So those are some of the updates. There are a lot of other updates uh, that you can look at here. I'm just going to leave all the links in the description uh, for you to, to check out. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.